guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be diving into the FabFitFun winter box. I do need to address one thing before we get into it in case my voice sounds a little bit raspy. I'm still kind of coming back from having the flu. I was down for an entire week and almost a half so I haven't posted anything because I completely went down. I had crazy high fevers and I ended up actually losing my voice so my voice is still kind of recovering. It's really mainly back now but you can kind of hear it when I talk a lot so I'm sorry if it sounds like a little bit off but I was just like I need to sit down and start filming for you guys but yeah we are gonna be diving into our winter box here I did end up re-upping with the subscription I know in the last video I was talking about how I was very much on the fence about it but I just kind of decided I was like you know what why not just get the subscription one more year see how it goes either way I'm spending my money so that way you guys don't have to and you can find out what's gonna be going on in the box without having to get it yourself because like I mentioned in ugh, the last FabFitFun video they did increase their prices officially with this box here the box went from $54.99 now up to $59.99 that is if you are quarterly if you ended up getting the annual membership it used to be $199.99 now it is $219.99 and I am an annual member, so I did end up paying that full $220. Very expensive, very kind of annoying that they did raise the price by that much. But anyways, my box. Let's get into it. And first things first, we got the standard issue magazine that they put in every box. It's got some info about products, different little articles. And then let's get into it with our customization option number one. So as you guys know, I like to go through all of the options that we get and I let you know what I chose. Customization number one, we had a couple different options here. The first item was the Coach Signature C Stud Earring Set. Second was the Social Studies Set of Three Nesting Bowls in Mauve. Third was the Social Studies Set of Three Nesting Bowls in Emerald Green. Very pretty color. Fourth was the Unhide Pillow Silver Fox. Fifth was the Unhide Pillow Beige Bear. Sixth was the Miamika Car Organizer. Seventh was the Bu Mac Battery Operated Dual Split Salt and Pepper Mill. Eighth, we got the LMS Superfood Facial Wash. Ninth, the Nude Sticks Hanging Cosmetics Case. And 10th, the Elemis Instant Refreshing Gel. And then that's not even it. We have three more options. So 11 was the Socialite Quilted Vest Plus. Second, the Socialite Quilted Vest Large Slash XL. And then of course we had the Socialite Quilted Vest Small Slash Medium. 13 different options for customization number one. Definitely a lot to choose from. And what I actually liked is that we are starting off with some like wintry kind of aesthetic items. Like the fluffy pillows, the vest and everything. I like that we were seeing that aesthetic, but the one I ended up choosing, let me see if I can find it in here was the coach item. I thought that this one looked like a very cute jewelry piece that I actually wanted to wear. Get this little coach card here. And then here comes the jewelry pieces here. So there you have the classic little C along with like a diamond stud. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. I mean, Coach is making quite a comeback right now and I felt like this was like a timeless kind of look. And I feel like that's one of the things I really like to go for with my selections, even though there's like the Christmassy themed ones. I don't know, I felt like I would use this one a little bit more than the other items. So that's why I decided to go for this one. Oh, maybe I should put one side on so that way you can see it see what she looks like. Let's try it. I do think it actually looks very cute, so I'm definitely happy with that selection there. But let's move on now to customization option number two and see what I chose for that one. First item on the list here was the Lily Pulitzer Ceramic Mugs set of two. We had the Short Stories Rolling Pin for the second item. Third up was the Sur La Table four-piece silicone utensil set in gray. Fourth, we had the Mercy Fabric Shaver. And fifth item, we had the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick in If Only. And then the following two items are actually the same Hourglass Lipstick, but they are in two different shades. So we had the I Am and the At Night shade. Following that, we had the Ole Henriksen Glow 2OH Dark Spot Toner. Ninth was the Icon Beauty Mini Humidifier. 
10th was the Fila Flexible Back Stretcher. And 11th, the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus Eye Advanced Eye Cream. And the one that I ended up going for was of course the Hourglass Lipstick. You guys know when it comes to lipstick, I can't resist a good one. So I had to try this out. I've also never tried the Hourglass Lipstick, so I was very intrigued. I mean, just look at this packaging. It's so pretty and it's metal. Fancy. I got the shade at night. Let's try on this lipstick. It's super pretty. It leaves kind of like a shiny, almost glossy look to the lips. I actually really like that. Back to it though, customization number three. Let's see what we got. So first up, we have the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. Second, the Short Stories Kitchen Scale. Third up, we had the Too Faced Better Than Volumizing Mascara. Fourth, we had the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper in Original. Fifth was the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. Sixth was the Ryan Porter Set of Three Vota V Candles. Seventh was the Power to the Flower Tina Hair Wrap. Eighth was the Figure One Glycolic Glow Treatment. Ninth was the Chinese Laundry Slippers. And there was the US Women's 8 to 9 size. The next option was the 6 to 7 size. And then the last option was the 10 to 11 women's size. And the one that I went with here was the slippers. We had to give a little bit of a cozy vibe here. It is the winter box. So here's what the slippers look like. Look very nice and fluffy. It looks very festive, like this time of year. This is exactly what I think of. Let's try these on my feet. Did I pick the right size? I got the six to seven size, and I'm normally a seven and a half, but the question was too small or too big. So we shall find out. Dang it. Okay, so I should have definitely sized up instead of sizing down because my heel is like right about to poke out the edge there. I should have known whenever it comes to shoes, always size up. Why did I size down? But they did feel really comfortable right now, but it's okay. My mom actually has smaller feet than I do, so she's gonna get this pair here. Rookie move there. All right, but anyways, on to customization number four now. Let's get started. First up, we have the Vike Beauty and Aria Beauty Bundle. We had the Epar Butter Keeper. We had the Ace Beauty and the Aria Bundle. We had the Truff Love Truffle Hair Mask. We had the Sonage Baby Frios Mini Ice Globes Facial Massager. The My Tagalongs Vitamin Organizer. And lastly, we had the La Octane Shea Butter Hand Cream. I did feel like this one was one of those ones where it was a little bit of a random mix here. Especially when it comes to these bundles, they're usually bundling up like older previous items that they almost seem like they're just trying to get rid of. But I ended up going for one of the bundles because I wanted to grab the Ace Beauty palette. So I did grab the Ace Beauty and Aria bundle here. So let's open that up. I just had to grab it, get my hands on it, test out another one of their shadow formula qualities because I've gotten a couple now and they're amazing. Did I mention that this was the Serenity eyeshadow palette? I don't know if I did. It's a little bit more of like a basic kind of eyeshadow palette in the colors, but you always need those kinds of palettes. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it. So here's a look at what this palette looks like and it looks so beautiful. And I mean that orange shade in there, the like metallic-y pumpkin orange with the gold in it. That one looks so pretty. I'm sorry, but that was the entire reason I grabbed that bundle. I'm not even sure what the other item was. This thing, a reusable makeup swab. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really focus on this item. I just wanted that Ace Beauty palette, so I just selected that one. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so it comes into this little green case. Let's. Oh, it flips right back. And then you get two makeup swabs. One's a little bit more pointy. One looks like a little bit more of a traditional cotton swab. And they're made of silicone. It says to use these swabs for lip color application, brow shaping, eyeliner detailing, skincare application, concealer blending, and more. OK, 
Okay, so it's like a multi-use kind of applicator thing that's in the shape of a cotton swab. Very clever, and since they are silicone, you are able to just clean them and reuse them instead of going through like a whole bunch of, you know, regular cotton ones. All right, but that was item number four. Let's move on to customization number five. We got, again, a couple different options here. First off, we have the Aceology Lifting Treatment Mask. Second, we had the Karuna Tone and Drench Sheet Mask 4-Pack. Third, Chic and Tonic Snowflake Mug. Fourth, we had the insert name here, Quick Slick Fly Away Hair Essence. Fifth was the Pixie Clarity Tonic. Sixth was the Zoe Isla Reusable Eye Pads 2-Pack. And seventh and final item was the Pixie Rose Tonic. And if I wanted to go very like holiday themed, I mean, they did have that snowflake mug, but I felt like that one was a little bit basic in a sense this year for their like themed item. I felt like I could find some cuter things at Target or Home Goods. Wasn't really anything special to me. So the like kind of holiday themed item, I decided to skip over and I decided to go for the Pixie Clarity Tonic. I usually, when I go for Pixie with their toners, I go for the rose one. I have never tried this Clarity one, so I figured I might as well give it a little test run. It does say that it's supposed to have salicylic, glycolic, and lactic acid in it. That's supposed to help exfoliate and reduce sebum levels. And then it has probiotics to help balance and fortify. It's alcohol free, use it AM and PM. So, I mean, it sounded like a good little concoction. I do like the rose ones. And then for customization number six now, our final customization option. For this one, again, we got a lot of different options. First up was the Whey Detox Shampoo and Scalp Massager. Second was the Beekman 1802 Dream Booster Bakuchi Oil Better Aging Serum. Third was the Volitician Skin Rhythm Balancing and Clearing Serum. Fourth was the Fiora Awaken Arousal Oil with Organic Botanicals. Fifth was the This Works Stress Check Mood Manager. Sixth was the Herbivore Botanicals Aquarius Clarity Cream. Seventh was the Lemon Snowdrift Hat. And eighth was the Aloe Mega C Body Wash. And again, we are seeing another themed holiday-ish item for the winter box there with that hat, but I did not go for that one. I did choose the way items. I could not help myself when I saw these two. I knew I wanted to try it because I've always wanted to try the shampoo of theirs. I hear really great things. I just don't want to buy it because it's kind of expensive. So it was the bundle pack with the detox shampoo and the scalp massager, which the scalp massager is one of these little classic looking silicone scalp brushes that's supposed to help you when you're like shampooing your hair. It's supposed to help detoxify the scalp and all of that and get like really good into the scalp. And it's got this nice little slip for your fingers there so you can just and again, this shampoo is kind of like supposed to go hand in hand with that because this is supposed to be like a good detoxing shampoo. It's got apple cider vinegar that's supposed to help cleanse away the dirt and the oil and the impurities, removing buildup from styling and hard water deposits. It's supposed to leave your hair feeling like really fresh, really clean. Figured might as well give this little combo a try and then we'll see how that goes. And then yeah, that was it. That was our last item for the winter FabFitFun box here. And as far as the value goes for this box, I was able to add up to a grand total of $273.95 in value, which is definitely really nice to see. I feel like they kind of stepped it up a little bit with this particular box here. The previous fall box, it was nothing noteworthy to really talk about. The value wasn't really that crazy good, and it just had zero theme with it. This box, I do have to admit the value is better. The theme was better. They had a clear theme. You kind of knew it was a winter box because of like the slippers, the beanie, the pillow, the mug. It felt more cohesive to me and I knew which box this was meant for. It wasn't just some like a random one. They were just throwing together of past items they're trying to get rid of. So I do like that they improved that this time around. And although they did raise the price of the box, I actually didn't mind because there were certain items that I've been actually wanting, like this Way Duo here, that one alone is like 40 bucks. The Coach Jewelry, I think was like 95. Slippers were 40. The lipstick was 40. So like there was high 
ticket items that I actually was interested in actually getting for myself. It wasn't anything random that's just like, okay, I have to get it because I'm getting the box, which I like. So I feel like winter box, this one actually was a success here. I mean, it has been a very hit or miss with the FabFitFun with their past boxes. It's been a good box, it's been a bad box, good box, good, bad box. So I'm interested to see how the next season is gonna go, if it's gonna completely flop again, kind of like how they've been repeating here. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that maybe they're getting it together, but I mean, only time will tell with that. So I'm gonna definitely be interested to see what's gonna happen next season. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts were on this box. If you guys thought any of the stuff was actually worth the $60 price tag of the box. And if you liked today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!